so welcome back to my youtube channel my name is alice rita and today i will show you how to record macro in image j the purpose of recording macro is to automate your work and also it allows uh, easy reproducibility of your analysis so to with today's uh, tutorial i will show you how i will show you how to draw a scale bar process this image into maximum projection and each of the tasks i'm going to do on this uh, image that is open before you i'm going to use macro to record everything that i will be doing and after we will close this and process and uh, reanalyze the image using the macro so that you can have an idea of why it's essential to use macro while you are doing your analysis especially if you are trying something for the first time the macro will give you a very good speed because you will not have to be brainstorming on oh how did i do this the last time because you would have already saved your macro without any further ado let's get started so here i have this image that is a, a z stack image and i would like to make a maximum projection of this image like i've done here so i'm going to close this and in one of my in one of my tutorial i've shown how to do this but i'm because of the purpose of macro i'm going to show you the first thing you need to do first we have to go to plugin and you see here from macros record you click on the record and this is going to record every little click you made you're going to be making on image j so you see immediately i selected this window it's shown here select window and next i would like to crop this uh image you can see also that it has drawn the size of the rectangle that i made Using the control shift control D command on the MacBook, I'll be duplicating this image. If you are not, I have to delete this. Okay. So I'm going to be duplicating the Z stack, not just that. So you have to remember to click this du duplicate hyper Z stack. That way I have my Z stack here. And I'm going to make this window open so that we can easily see it now that i now want to make a z stack go, i go to image stacks z project and make a maximum projection look at that the command that of what i just or the long clicking i did has been written into a single line command and one interesting thing that most of us don't do is the post processing of microscope data look at this image after i finished putting it into a maximum projection it looks dull actually when i i captured this at the microscope it was brighter than this so what i'm going to do is to adjust the brightness and this i can do by clicking on ctrl shift c this will enable me to to uh adjust the brightness so if I want the brightness that it was when I was cap uh, when I captured this at the microscope, all I just have to do is to click the reset button. With the reset button, you can see that it's brightening up the it brightening up the fluorescence. The same way, the bright field, I will click on the reset. You could also use the auto function, just that you will gain extra noise by using the auto function. So this extra part that I use the octo function, I'm going to delete that and go back to my reset function. I want to use the uh, setting that I acquired at the microscope. Although it's brighter, so we can just brighten this up, reduce the no background noise. Okay. So all the processing I've done now, we've had it in a macro. The next is now for us to draw the scale bar and to draw the scale bar we go to analyze tools scale bar by default the scale bar is usually drawn by the right hand side of the image you can decide to choose any other side but this is the most uh, commonly used side for myself so my that's why it's showing there 
like a 10 macron scale bar and i'm going to be hiding the text you see here everything i just did now with the scale bar run scale bar the width of my scale bar the height the fonts and actually i uh, didn't want the fonts to be shown so it's a uh, so uh, it's not going to be here because i hide the scale bar and the next thing is for me to save this image now um to duplicate the z stack the maximum projection so we'll split the channel when we do that we have these two image uh, apart and i'm going to save them individually so i'm going to be saving this image as zest um as a jpeg Another way to save it is to save it as Steve. That gives you a better resolution than using JPEG. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use JPEG and I will just save this directly to our desktop. I'll do the same using Ctrl R for repeat command and I'll save that. Now that I'm done, I'm going to create, click on the create function. That way it gives me the macro that we've recorded into a script. So the whole clicking of here and there that we just finished doing, this is the whole script. And that's one of the interesting part of why it's interesting to use macro for image process, um, to record macro while you're processing. I'll close the grid. I'm going to close some of this and I will let the, I'm going to run this macro again so that you see how and as you can see i've closed any opened image i will let the macro do the work that i just uh, finished explaining to you all i have to do is click run and you see that just a single click it's as done what i have been trying to show you in four minutes it has done it in one second see this is the image that i cropped earlier this is this was when i finished splitting the images and you can see it also had the scale bar and you can just you can save your mac, uh, macro as it is it will be like as uh, image j so i can just say okay tutorial so that's when next you open your image all you have to do is run the same script on all your images if your image uh, name apps are uh, changed all you have to do is to replace the name with this select window that's the only thing you have to do when you are reusing your macro on another image file i hope you find this tutorial useful please remember to click the subscribe button click the notification bell and please leave a comment in the comment section if you find this tutorial useful Thank you very much for always coming back to watch and if you are searching through the internet and you came across this video please click the like the like button and you could also subscribe for more tutorials until next time bye